couple of days ago, I told you about a jailbreak tweak called Virtual Home, and that tweak allowed you to use the Touch ID sensor on the iPhone 5S as sort of a virtual home button. Just by tapping on the Touch ID sensor, you could simulate home button presses. Well, now that same functionality, at least a similar functionality, has been implemented into Ryan Patrick's Activator. So this is really cool. You can see right here the fingerprint sensor gesture right in Activator, and I currently have it assigned to a home button, so it's it works similarly to the virtual home tweak. It allows you to use the Touch ID sensor as sort of a virtual home button, simulates a press of the home button uh, right there with Touch ID. So all I need to do is tap the Touch ID sensor and it simulates a home button press just like that. So I'm not actually pressing in on the home button, I'm just tapping it. And if I do a double tap, I have to time it a little right, but if I do a double tap, you'll see that it simulates a double press of the home button. Now, I found that this doesn't work perfectly every time I do a double tap. It works great with single taps, but double taps take a little um, a little practice, I guess you could say, to get it working right, to get it uh, responding correctly. And even then, it doesn't always want to respond with those home button presses. But again, this is a single press, not a double press gesture, so just keep that in mind. That may change in the future. Now you can see that I've added an activate control center action to the touch ID gesture, the single press or single tap gesture. And anytime I tap the touch ID, that will bring up control center or take it away. Now the one problem that this presents is that if you actually wanna press in on the uh, home button, you actually wanna use it as normal, it will still invoke your action that you had assigned to the tap of the Touch ID sensor if you use your fingerprint. Like if you use the back of your fingernail or some other object, the home button press will work like normal. But if you use your finger with the fingerprint and you press in on the home button, not only will it, it perform the home button action, like going back to the home screen or double pressing on the home button brings up the uh, app switcher, but it will also invoke the gesture or the action that you have assigned right in Activator. So if that kind of presents a problem, say you wanna just go back to your home screen, well, not only will it do that, but it's gonna bring up Control Center if you have Control Center assigned as an action um, briefly as well. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna set Compose Tweet here, and again, just tapping on the Touch ID sensor brings up the new Twitter Composed uh, widget or a little overlay, if you will. And that works just as you can see, just perfectly. So again, this the response of the single press of the Touch ID sensor, the single tap of the Touch ID sensor works perfect. Um, but the problem is when you want to perform a double press with the home button gesture, or when you want to just use the home button like normal, then you run into some issues that we described in this video. But anyway, Besides that, this is a very, very promising new feature for uh, Activator, and I'm looking forward to more uh, implementations of Touch ID within Activator. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.